G'day, it's Stuart from Ranger Bows. I've had a customer ask me to make him a takedown longbow, uh, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do a video on uh, what goes into making one of my bows. So what I've got here um, is a bit of MDF, I've uh, glued paper to it, and then I've put the shape on that, um, on that MDF, then I've cut it out of the bandsaw, and then shaped it, so I've got the right angles and the right curves. So that's the, uh, the riser um, shape there. Um, now I'm just in the process of doing one for the limb. Uh, same thing, bit of MDF with some paper on it, and just transferring the uh, shape of the limb onto that. Then I'll cut down on the bandsaw and then shape it perfectly so I've got a nice straight limb. Uh, so I'll just continue doing that and um, then we'll do a bit of bandsawing. Okay, so now I've transferred the shape onto the MDF for the limb. Uh, it's come time to cut down the band source. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I've uh, finished my limb template now. That's it there. So I've sanded it up. It's uh, the perfect shape for what I need. Uh, so I've got my uh, marais, my limb template. Next thing I have to do is make the uh, mould that I'm going to glue the limbs up in. So I've got my mould here, it's um, about 50 mils. I've uh, glued it together with four pieces of plywood. Um, with that mould there I've transferred the shape that I want the limb to be. I've just drawn that onto a bit of paper there. And here we are, I've uh, cut this out. Here we go, that can be discarded now. I don't need that, and what I'm left with is the bottom mould, okay, to the shape that I'm going to have that limb. Perfect. What I'm doing now is sanding the lambs, which are the, the core pieces of the limbs. Uh, these two here are the tapered pieces, uh, so for each uh, limb, you have a taper and three parallels. And I'm going to do the parallels later. Uh, all Ranger Bows uh, lambs are made from compressed bamboo flooring. That's what this is. It's a, a very uniform um, wood to use, uh, which means uh, the limb is very smooth when you uh, draw and release the arrow. Uh, these particular uh, tapers are going to be 2.5 mil and then one mil down the, uh, the thinnest end. Uh, I'm halfway through these, so I'll keep going. So I've finished sanding up my lambs. There's three parallels, one taper, uh, and these here, these are the um, uh, wedges. So I've made uh, two of these, one for each limb. Uh, on top of those lambs, uh, I have a uh, half mil Tasmanian blackwood veneer. They go on top of the, the lambs, and then on top of the veneer, the outer surface you've got the clear fiberglass. Okay, so um, they're in the, the oven at the moment. I'll just show you the oven. Okay, so that's the oven there. If I open that up, you'll see inside the lights are on and they're just uh, there to give it some heat. Okay, you can see there. And the reason it's in the oven, I keep it in here for about an hour, uh, is to get any moisture that might be in those lambs. Uh, just to get rid of that moisture. Uh, so once the, uh, all those nine pieces have been there for an hour, I turn it off, let, it, let the pieces cool down, take them out, uh, open my bench, and then it's time to glue them up. I'm going to glue them all up, um, put them into the mould, and that's one thing done. So I've got all the pieces here for my first limb that I'm going to glue up. Uh, just to go through, there's nine pieces all up. I've got the first uh, um, fiberglass here, of that I've got the half mil decorative timber veneer which is Tasmanian blackwood. Then I've got my three parallels going on top of that, like that. Then we've got the wedge down there, then my taper, the other decorative veneer, and finally the other piece of fiberglass. So that's how we go there. Once I've glued that up, which I'll do shortly, I'll take it over to the mould which I've got over here uh, and then um, uh, press it in the mould. 
and it goes into the, uh, the oven. I'll do that shortly. So I've glued my liver, uh, it's in the mould, and I've uh, clamped that uh, mould together. And that's what it looks like when clamped up. Okay, so there's a limb there, put the uh, hose on top, it clamps it down, and um, that's all it is. Now it goes into the oven, uh, it goes in the oven for about five hours, around about 50 degrees Celsius. So I'll pop it in there. And what that does is it uh, heats the, um, uh, the limb up slowly and it sets the glue off in about uh, five, six hours I'll take it out. I've got both my limbs done now and I've taken them out of the oven and I've also got my riser block here. Okay. Uh, this is a nice piece of Tasmanian um, blackwood. Uh, it's a lovely bit of wood, it's got some nice grain in it. To repair this um, riser block, I've, um, I've planed one fi uh, face dead flat, and then off that face, I'll take my two limb faces. Uh, so they're perfectly square off that first face, both of them. So by doing it that way, I know that when I attach my limbs, eventually like that, uh, those limbs are gonna be uh, perfectly flat with each other, and it's not gonna be twisted at all. Okay, so that's the rise, I'll put that aside. Next thing I've got to do with the limbs, uh, I trace out the, uh, the template onto those limbs and then cut them out. I've already done one. Uh, this is the uh, limb template that I made earlier. So all I'm going to do now is uh, attach that limb template to the second limb and then trace it around with the pencil, then go and cut it out. I've cut the limbs out to a rough shape uh, and I've just peeled a bit of masking tape back on the end of the limb there and just rough it up with a bit of sandpaper. What I've done that for is because the next uh, step in this is to glue a bit of phenolic on the end of the limb like that, just to strengthen the end of the limb. So when the string goes on there uh, and it's being shot, the, um, the string doesn't damage the end of the limb. Uh, so that's my next um, step in this. I've had those limbs attached to the riser. And I've sanded those limbs down to the required um, uh, draw weight, which in this case is 50 pound. So those limbs are, uh, are finished for that. Now I've got the riser I've got to cut out. Uh, I've rough cut it, but now I'm going to just um, put this jig on here and uh, draw the, uh, the line so I can then cut the, uh, the shape out. That's what I'm going to do now. And there we have it. There's the riser all rough cut out on the bandsaw. So the uh, top one will go there, the bottom one will go there, and come like that. Uh, now comes the uh, the part of um, uh, roughing the off, uh, taking all the, the rough edges off, and I'm going to be doing that with my uh, Arbitec um, grinder there. So I'll just take all the rough edges off, and then I'll finish it up with a, a rasp and a file, and then onto the, uh, the bottom sander. So I'm just starting to uh, carve the riser now with my Arbitec carver. Um, all I'm doing is take off the, the, uh, the sharp corners. Um, so just taking the majority of those, um, those outside corners off. Uh, once I've got all that off, uh, I'll just finish off with the, uh, with the rasp. Now, I've got to be very careful with this machine not to take too much uh, wood off. Obviously if I take too much off, I can't put it back on. So I'll just keep going with that. So I've got the limbs attached to the riser and I'm just finishing uh, sanding the limbs down to the same thickness as the riser there. Um, I've also uh, used the rasp on the riser there just to uh, smooth it off there, get it to pretty much its finished shape. Okay, so um, it's almost there to the finished shape. I use the rasp for a bit more um, on the riser there just to finish it off. Uh, also on the, uh, the limbs here, you might be able to see, I've just put a couple of uh, bits of Tasmanian blackwood on the top of the limbs there. Uh, that's got a couple of reasons. One, it looks good. And two, when you drill the hole through the limb, or the limb bolt, um, the, uh, the wood here is going to stop the uh, fiberglass from cracking in the future. Um, so it's got a couple of purposes there. And I'll just um, sand it off. Um, so it's starting to look like it's finished shape. Um, I'll keep working. Yes, 
so I'm up to uh, sanding the bone now. I've got the final shape. Um, just sanding with 120 grade sandpaper at the moment. What I'm going to do now is take the limbs off and sand all three uh, parts of the bow separately. Um, okay, so I've finished sanding the bow up to 320 grade sandpaper. It's a very nice, uh, smooth finish now. Uh, all three pieces uh, with almost a polished finish. Um, so what I'm going to do now is um, polish the bow with some oil. Uh, I usually put about three or four coats into each bow. Um, so what I'll do is I'll coat the bow with um, one uh, layer of oil, let it soak in, use it overnight, come back tomorrow and then um, we're up another coat and I'll keep going like that for about four coats. Um, this is where you really see all the hard work come out when you start to oil it and see all those beautiful uh, timber colours uh, coming through. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and do that. What I'm using is uh, just a soft cloth uh, and my oil here. oil on the clock there. Not real hard, all you do is uh, wipe it on, make sure you cover all surfaces evenly. with the, uh, the second limb now. You really should see that, uh, that colour there shine. It's a, it's a very nice bit of wood that. all the three pieces done I'll put that one up to dry as well I'll come back to you tomorrow well here we are we've uh, finished the bow it's taken about three weeks from start to finish it's a beautiful bow um, I'll put a few arrows through it just to get the knock point right uh, it's a 50 pound a 28 inch bow and I finished it last night with the string there it's a fast flight Flemish twist string you can see the uh, string silences on it there that's just merino wool uh, it's a beautiful day to day to have a shot uh, we're out at the outdoor range. Um, so uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, thanks for watching How to Make a Ranger Bow.